dear children we will continue with the types of continuous series we finished with the first two types of continuous series that is inclusive and exclusive series and we learned how to convert an inclusive series into an exclusive series now we will learn the next type of continuous series that is open end series what is this open end series open end series is a series in which lower limit of the first class interval or upper limit of the last class interval is missing so here lower limit of the first class interval there will be different class intervals for a data now the lower limit of the first class interval and the upper limit of the last class interval will be missing that kind of a frequency distribution is known as open end series now let us see an example this is an open end series here you can find the first class interval is given as below 5 and the last class interval is given as above 20 so first class interval is given as below 5 and the last class interval is given as above 20 so there is no class interval like which is written here as 5 to 10 10 to 15 or 15 to 20 so we have to convert the first and the last into class intervals so here you can find the lower limit of the first class interval there is no value for that and the upper limit of the last class interval there is no value for that also now how to find out that it is very easy just take the magnitude of the other class intervals which are the other class intervals here that is 5 to 10 10 to 15 and 15 to 20 what is the magnitude of these classes 5 because 10 to 5 to 10 then 10 to 15 15 to 20 means what the difference is 5 so you have to consider that 5 to these missing values so we will consider that in the first class interval in the first class interval the data given is below 5 so below 5 means your lower limit of that class interval below 5 below 5 means only the upper limit is given there in the first class interval you have to find out the lower limit of that class interval definitely it will be 0 because 0 to 5 makes a difference of 5 magnitude is 5 therefore 0 to 5 will be the first class interval that means the lower limit of the first class interval is 0 0 to 5 will give the difference as 5 so the first class interval we are going to convert it as 0 to 5 now what about the last class interval last class interval is 20 and above 20 above 20 means what 20 and above 20 and above there there was a mistake 20 and above Okay, 20 and above. It will be given as 20 and above. So, how to write it as a class interval? 20 and above means what? What is the magnitude of the other class? 5. Therefore, 5 has to be added to 20. That is 25. So, the upper limit of this class interval is 25. So, how can you write the last class interval? 20 to 25. Because the difference of all other classes are 5. So. 20 and above means what above 20 isn't it so it has to be 5 has to be added with 20 so it is 25 so 20 to 25 will be the last class interval so the class intervals are 0 to 5 5 to 10 10 to 15 15 to 20 20 to 25 hope this is clear to you now we will move on to the next type of continuous series that is cumulative series cumulative frequency distribution what is the peculiarity of this cumulative frequency distribution cumulative frequencies will be given that is the peculiarity of cumulative frequency distribution now there are two types of cumulative frequency distribution they are more than cumulative frequency distribution and less than cumulative frequency distribution less than cumulative frequency distribution and more than cumulative frequency distribution now let us see what is this less than and more than cumulative frequency distribution now we will learn 
how to convert a normal continuous series into less than cumulative frequency distribution and more than cumulative frequency distribution. Now for that we have to learn what is this less than cumulative frequency distribution. In a less than cumulative frequency distribution frequencies of each class interval are added successively. Now this is an example of a normal continuous series. You have to convert this normal continuous series into a less than cumulative frequency series. If it is a less than cumulative frequency series, what you should do with a normal continuous series? This is the frequency of a normal continuous series. What is explained here? Frequencies of each class interval, which are the frequencies of each class interval here, 2, 5, 10, 12, 17 and 4 has to be added successively. In each and every step they have to be added successively to get less than cumulative frequency distribution. So, this is a normal continuous series, you have to convert this into a less than cumulative frequency distribution. To convert this into a less than cumulative frequency distribution, you have to add the frequencies successively. So, I have converted, let us convert how, let us learn how to convert it, okay. conversion to less than cumulative frequency distribution. This is the normal continuous series which is written and that is discussed just now 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60. The same example which is written here, the say this example itself I have written, I have repeated so that you can see both in one page itself. Okay, now this normal continuous series I am going to convert into less than cumulative frequency distribution. To convert this into less than cumulative frequency distribution, you have to keep two things in mind. The first one is always take the upper limit of the normal class intervals, which is the upper limit of the normal class interval, which is a normal continuous series I have written. The first one is the normal continuous series I have written. Take the upper limit of that, which are the upper limits there 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. To convert this into less than cumulative frequency table, you have to write this in the following manner. The first one should be less than 10. I told you, you have to take the upper limit of the first table, the normal continuous series. Take all the values of the upper limit and write it as less than 10, less than 20, less than 30, less than 40 and less than 50, less than 10, less than 20, less than 30, less than 40, less than 50 and less than 60. All are up per limits of the normal continuous series. So that part has to be done first. Then what is to be done? Add the frequencies of the class interval, the normal continuous series. Go to the normal continuous series table and add the frequencies successively. Now for the first one, you can write it as two only because before that there is nothing to be added. So you have to write it as two itself. That means the first frequency. After that in each and every stage you have to go on adding the frequencies. How to add on to the frequency 2 plus 5, 2 plus 5 you will get 7, isn't it? So 7 plus 10 you will get 17, 17 plus next number 12 you will get 29, 29 plus next number 17 you will get 46. And 46 plus next number 4, you will get it as 50. So what we have done here, we have added all the frequencies successively. So once again, the first frequency, you should write it as 2 itself. There is nothing to be added before that. After that, the work starts. Okay. So after that, how you have to write? You have to add on. How to add on? 2 plus 5. 2 plus 5 will give you 7. 7 plus 10 will give you 17, 17 plus 12 will give you 29, 29 plus 17 will give you 46, 46 plus 4 will give you 50. So what you have done here, you have added all the frequencies of each class interval successively. This is how we can convert a normal continuous series into a 
less than cumulative frequency distribution. Now, more than cumulative frequency distribution is the next. More than cumulative frequency distribution. Here, more than cumulative frequencies are obtained by finding the cumulative totals of the frequency starting from the highest value of the class to the lowest value. It is so simple when you see the example the definition will be clear to you. The normal continuous series the same example I have taken here 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50 and 50 to 60 and frequencies are 2, 5, 10, 12, 17 and 4. So what has to be done here? Here it is just the reverse. You have to write it as more than. The other one was less than. Here it is more than. So when it is more than what has to be done is take the normal continuous series table that is this table and take all the lower limits of that class intervals. For less than we have taken the upper limits. Here for more than you have to take the lower limits of those class intervals and write it as more than 0, more than 10, more than 20, more than 30, more than 40, more than 50. The same I have written here more than 0, more than 10, more than 20, more than 30, more than 40, more than 50. After that you have to subtract from the low highest value to the lowest one okay what i have written here is your total is 50 you know the total is 50 right here what is the total that you have got the total is 50 so what is the definition he given here here for more than cumulative frequencies more than cumulative frequency are obtained by finding the cumulative total what is the cumulative total 50 is the cumulative total okay so how did you get cumulative total as 50? By adding all the frequencies of all the class intervals, right? So cumulative total is 50. So from the cumulative totals of frequencies starting from the highest value, highest value is 50 to the lowest value. So that is how you have to do. So 50 is the first value, more than 0 it is 50. Then 50 minus 2. This is how you have to come down 50 minus 2, 48. Then 48 minus 5, 43. 43 minus 10, 33. 33 minus 12, 21. 21 minus 17, it is 4. You have to stop here. Let us see wh why it is so. More than 0 is 50. More than 10, you got 48. That is 50 minus 2. Two. More than 20 you got 43 that is 48 minus 5. More than 30 you got 33 that is 43 minus 10. More than 40 you got 21 that is 33 minus 12. Now it is more than 50. More than 50 because 42 more than 50. More than 50 is 21 minus 17 that is 4. 1 is left out, this 4 is left out, right? This 4 is left out. You cannot write more than 60. You cannot write because I have told you for more than you have to consider the lower limit of the normal continuous series. In the lower limit 50 is the last number and we cannot write it as more than 60. Is it possible to add and write it here as more than 60? No. Why? Because 50 to 60 is the maximum limit. More than 60 you cannot write. Therefore, nothing can be deducted with this 4. So, this remains to be, this cannot be done, this cannot be subtracted for any value. Because your class interval has finished, it has come to an end with more than 50. More than 60 cannot be written because your class interval is 50 to 60 and the lower limit is 50. So, more than 60 cannot be written because your limit is 50 to 60. More than 60 cannot be written. Therefore, you need to subtract the value from 21 to 17. This should be the last value which we have to subtract from the total. I hope it is clear to you. This is how you find out more than cumulative frequency. So, more than cumulative frequency, you have to remember two things. Point number one is 
take the lower limit of the normal continuous series then you have to deduct each frequency from the cumulative total that is the best way you can remember from the cumulative total to find out the cumulative total add all the frequencies if you add all these you will get the cumulative frequency you need not do it with low, less than cumulative frequency you just add the frequency you will get the total from the cumulative total go to the top the first frequency is 2 deduct it 1 by 1 50 minus 2 then it has to be then it is 48 then 48 minus 5 like that you have to go on deducting it with the frequencies and final the last value we need not detect because you cannot write it as more than 60. This is how you find out more than cumulative frequency distribution. I hope it is very clear to you. Now we will move on to the next type of continuous series that is mid value series. What is this mid value series? In the mid value series only the mid values of the class intervals will be given. Only mid values of the class intervals will be given. For example, this is a class interval 10 to 15 or 5 to 10. 5 to 10 is a class interval. What is the mid value of that 5 to 10? Only that mid value will be given. You have to convert that mid value into a class interval. Because without getting a class interval, it is difficult for us to solve the problems, right? Therefore, we have to convert the given mid value into class interval. Then only you will be able to find out the answer. So, how to convert a mid value series into a class interval? That is what we are going to learn. For that, we have certain steps to follow. The first step is conversion to continuous series from mid value series. First point is find out the difference between the two mid values, between two mid values. Now mid values will be given one by one just to find out the difference between two mid values. That is your first job that is done. We will do the example then it will be clear to you. Then the next step is half of the difference after finding the difference between the first mid value and second mid value take the half of their difference and and then it is added and subtracted to each mid values to find the lower limit and upper limit. Take the half of that difference then add and subtract it to each mid value to find out the lower limit and upper limit. Now let us see how it is being done. Then it will be clear to you. Now this is a mid value series. How will you understand it is a mid value series because the heading given is mid value and frequency is given there. Okay, which are the mid values given here 5, 15, 25, 35 and 45. So you have to convert this into a continuous series. What is the first step that you have to follow? Find the difference between two mid values. Okay, two mid values I am taking here as 5 and 15. Okay, what is the difference between 5 and 15? You have to find out the difference between 5 and 15. Then take the next two mid values. Which are the two different mid values? 25 and 15. What is the difference? The same difference, 10, isn't it? So the difference between the mid values here are 10, 5 plus 10, 15, 15 plus 10, 25, 25 plus 10, 35, 35 plus 10, 45. So the difference between all the mid values here is 10. Now we need to take only the difference between the first two mid values. The difference between first two mid values 5 and 15 is 10. Now what is the first, second step? We found the difference between the two mid values. Then half of the difference, half of the difference between means what? What is our difference? 10. What is the half of 10? 5. Half of the difference is then added and subtracted to each mid values to find out the lower limit and upper limit. You have to add and subtract uh, the half of the difference to mid values to find out the lower limit and the upper limit. Now let us add and subtract the half. The difference, difference is the half. What is the difference? 10. What is the half of the 10? 5. Difference is 10. 10 by 2 is equal to 5. Let us add this 5 and subtract this 5 to the existing mid values to 
find out the lower limit and upper limit. Okay, first we will subtract. Subtract 5 from 5, you will get 0. You have to subtract and add 5 to each mid values. Okay, if you subtract 5 minus 5 is 0. If you add 5 to 5, you will get it as 10. So, both subtraction and addition is done for the first number. So, it is 0 and 10. So, your first class interval is 0 to 10. Likewise, you have to do it for each and every mid values. Take the second mid value 15. Subtract 5 from 15 and add 5 to 15. What is 15 minus 5? 10. What is 15 plus 5? 20. So, your next class interval is 10 to 20. Now, take the next mid value 25. So, what is the half of our difference? Difference between 15 and 25 is 10. What is the half of the difference? 5. 5 has to be added and subtracted to 25 to get lower limit and upper limit. 5 has to be subtracted from 25. 25 minus 5 is 20. What is 25 plus 5? That is 30. So, next class interval should be 20 to 30. So, the difference here is 5 and that 5 is subtracted as well as added to the existing mid values to get both lower limit and upper limit. This is how you convert a mid value series into a continuous series and the frequencies you can write the same as it is given there in the mid value series. This is how you convert. So, I hope it is very clear to you. So, we have finished with inclusive series, exclusive series, conversion of inclusive into exclusive series, then open end series, less than and cumulative frequency series, less than and more than cumulative frequency series. How to convert a normal continuous series into less than and more than cumulative frequency series and finally mid value series. Now, there is a small homework for you. Here I have uh, given the question, convert the following into less than and more than cumulative frequency distribution. So, this is a normal frequency distribution, continuous series. You have to convert this series into less than cumulative frequency distribution and more than cumulative frequency distribution. Thank you.